In this video, we are going to learn how you can use the LearnDash course builder. So let's get started. If you want to create an e-learning website or an online education platform and sell courses, then LearnDash is one of the best choices. LearnDash gives you features like the drag and drop course builder, the AI course outline and quiz builder, easy assignment management, team collaboration tools, and much more. If we take a look at the pricing page of LearnDash, there are three plans available for one site, 10 sites and unlimited sites. You can find the link to the LearnDash pricing page in the video description. Check that out and get your desired plan. So in order to see how the course builder works, we have accessed the LearnDash demo site. You can also access the LearnDash demo site from the official LearnDash website in order to get some hands-on experience with LearnDash. So if we click on LearnDash over here, now in the demo site, we can see there are already courses added over here. You can also add a course by just clicking on this add new course button. And there are other ways to create courses such as you can create course from video playlist from YouTube, Vimeo or Wistia. So if you guys want to learn how you can do that, we already have a video tutorial on that topic. We will put the link in this video's description so you can learn it. You can also create a course outline from AI and you can also use the new front end course creator to create your course. But in this video, we are going to use the usual course builder. So we already have a few courses. So let's go ahead and click on edit to see how the course is created. The first thing it brings us is the course page. Here you can add the details of your course, what the students will learn. You can also mention what materials will be available for your course and all other information. Now, when you're ready, you can click on this builder tab and this will open up the course builder. This is where you can create your entire course. Now, the way you create courses in LearnDash is by adding lessons. You can see these are some lessons. So to add a new lesson, we can also click on this new lesson button and it will ask us to enter a title. We can enter a title lesson four. click on add lesson. And that is how we can add in a lesson. Now, I'm going to remove this extra lessons because I only want to work with these three. OK, and you can rename the lessons if you want by clicking on edit. You can edit the lessons. So, for example, we have a lesson over here. We can simply click on edit and it will bring us to the lesson editor. Here you can add some texts or images in your lesson page. You can also add a video such as this one. You can simply go to a new block and click on this plus icon. And if I search for video, you can see there are video blocks over here. You can simply add the video and add the URL or just simply upload your video to your media library and select the video from there. You can also add the lesson video from the settings, this section. So if I enable the video progression feature, we can add in the video URL from here and your lesson will have the course video over here. Now, lessons aren't the only components of your course. You can also add topics within your lessons. To add a topic, you simply expand a lesson and you can click on the new topic button to add a topic. It will quickly ask you to enter a title of your topic. For example, we can name a topic and we can add that topic over there. In this way, we can add multiple topics within a lesson. And now you can edit topics just like you edit lessons. You simply hover your mouse over a topic and click on edit and it will take you to the topic editor, which looks like the lesson editor. So we're going to hit save to save our progress. And then we're going to click on edit on topic one and you can see that it brings you to the same section here you can add text images or videos or any other components to your topic description page and if you want to add a video you can simply go to the settings enable the video progression add in the url iframe or shortcode over here to add in your video now back in the course builder you can also see that all these lessons and topics you can drag and drop. For example, if you want to drag a lesson down below, you can just simply grab it and drag and drop it anywhere you want. So LearnDash gives you a drag and drop course builder. You can also add quizzes to your courses just by clicking on new quiz. If you hit new quiz, just like the topics and lessons, it's going to ask you to add a title and then you can add the quiz. Although the quiz is added, it still doesn't have any content. If we click on edit, it's going to open up the quiz builder and you can build quizzes like multiple choice questions, single choice question, fill in the blanks, etc. If you guys want to learn how to create quizzes using LearnDash quiz builder, we have a video tutorial on that topic. We will put the link of that tutorial in this video's description. So make sure to check it out. It's also possible to create the quiz quizzes outside this course builder. You can add quizzes from the quiz builder directly. Okay. And when you do, 
your quizzes will be added over here. You can see that we have some quizzes. You can simply click on add and this quiz will be added over here. All right. And you can also remove these quizzes just like so. You can also see there are a collection of topics over here and also lessons over here. These can also be created outside the course builder. You can just simply select a topic or hover over any topic and click on add and that topic will be added to this lesson. So you can create the lessons and topics outside the course builder and then use this course builder to assemble the course together. So that's also another way of using the course builder. In this way, you can add in as many lessons and topics as you want and add in your course content and build your courses like so. We can also add in new section headings. So if I click on it, it's going to ask us to add in a title. All right. Now this has a section and you can add in lessons within this section. In this way, you can create multiple new section headings. Although this is not compulsory, but you can make use of it to better organize your course. Finally, when we take a look at this section, here is the final quizzes. Here we can already see there's a quiz added over here. By reading the heading, you can already understand that this is the final quizzes section. Here you can add in your final quizzes. So if I click on edit, you can add in your final quizzes. So once your students complete all your lessons and topics over here, they can come to the final quizzes. And once they take the final quizzes and answer them successfully, they can complete the course. So that's one way of adding final quizzes to your course. So basically that is the course builder of LearnDash. If we click on settings, we will get course settings such as the access mode of the course, course prerequisites, course points, course access expiration, start date, end date, student limit, and much more. If you guys want to learn how to create a course using LearnDash, we have a tutorial on that topic and many other LearnDash topics such as how to create a certificate with LearnDash, how to create an e-learning site with LearnDash. We have a lot of LearnDash topics. You can look for all those tutorials on our YouTube channel. So if you guys found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos on WordPress and LearnDash. Thank you for watching. See you next time.